Hello English learners, it's Jessica here. Today, we're focusing on practice speaking skill. Let's start with the shadowing exercise. In this exercise, I want you to try to copy exactly the rhythm and the tone of the dialogue. Pay attention and we'll practice together. Exercise one, shadowing. Good morning, class. Today, we're going to learn about sports. But first, let's play a warm-up game. We'll split into two teams. Team one, Somi, Flavio, Maxime. Team two, Nam, Dossi, Guyan. Ready? Yes, yes sir. we, we are, are ready. ready. Great, the game is to name sports that use balls. The team with more names wins a secret gift. Okay, three, two, one, go. Football. Rugby. Tennis. Volleyball. Basketball. Baseball. Time's up. Let's see which team won. Emily, please announce the scores. Team one has three points and team two has three points. It's a tie. Wow, you guys did great job. So we will have an MO's question to decide which team wins this game. Name a sport that uses a ball but is not played on a field. Balink. Well done, Maxime. That's a great answer. Everyone did a fantastic job today. So I have a small gift for each of you. Here are some fun sports keychains for everyone. Thank, Thank you, you, Jessica. Jessica. This is really good. You're welcome. It's great to see everyone so engaged. Now, let's start our lesson on sports. Good job. Let's move to the next exercise. So now you're in the conversation. I'm going to read my lines and you'll read your lines on the screen. Here we go. Exercise two. Duet. What have you been up to lately, Amber? A lot of things have happened to my life. What do you mean? Well, remember that last week I told you about my new manager? Ah, yes. Is that the one who's really nice and polite? Exactly. But after a week working with him, everything turned out to be so terrible. What happened? My manager has revealed his true color. How come? When he talks to me with other people in the company, he always smiles and says great things to encourage us. But when I'm alone with him, he keeps criticizing my work. Even if you don't do anything wrong. Yes. I can't understand why people say he's terrific. It seems like he's being nice with everybody except me. Gosh. I've never been in your situation before. But he and you have just met each other, right? Yes, we haven't known each other before.
and I don't think I did something that made him angry. I always finish my job on time, and am friendly with others. Do you want to know what was the most terrible thing to me last week? Go ahead. I'm all ears now. Well, my manager sent me a list of 500 people and told me that I had to contact each of them in three days. Gosh, that was impossible. Yes, he just destroyed my weekend. How did you handle that task? I had to ask my colleagues to do it with me. Thank God that you still have amazing partners. Yes, I feel lucky for that. But about my manager, I really don't know what I should do. I think it would be better to talk to him directly about everything. You cannot work with a person like that. I also thought like you, but... But what? I'm just scared that after hearing my complaint, he will sack me immediately. I think he's trying to find a reason to kick me out of the company. But you've just got the job, right? Yeah, I feel like there's nothing I can do now rather than accepting him now. What have you been up to lately, Amber? A lot of things have happened to my life. What do you mean? Well, remember that last week I told you about my new manager? Ah, yes. Is that the one who's really nice and polite? Exactly. But after a week working with him, everything turned out to be so terrible. What happened? My manager has revealed his true color. How come? When he talks to me with other people in the company, he always smiles and says great things to encourage us. But when I'm alone with him, he keeps criticizing my work. Even if you don't do anything wrong. Yes. I can't understand why people say he's terrific. It seems like he's being nice with everybody except me. Gosh, I've never been in your situation before. But he and you have just met each other, right? Yes, we haven't known each other before. And I don't think I did something that made him angry. I always finish my job on time, and am friendly with others. Do you want to know what was the most terrible thing to me last week? Go ahead. I'm all ears now. Well, my manager sent me a list of 500 people. And told me that I had to contact each of them in three days. Gosh, that was impossible. 
Yes, he just destroyed my weekend. How did you handle that task? I had to ask my colleagues to do it with me. Thank God that you still have amazing partners. Yes, I feel lucky for that. But about my manager, I really don't know what I should do. I think it would be better to talk to him directly about everything. You cannot work with a person like that. I also thought like you, but... But what? I'm just scared that after hearing my complaint, he will sack me immediately. I think he's trying to find a reason to kick me out of the company. But you've just got the job, right? Yeah, I feel like there's nothing I can do now rather than accepting him now. Okay, so that's the end of today's lesson. To get the best results, you can listen to the dialogue over and over again until you can speak fluently and smoothly. Thank you for being such attentive students today. See you all in our next lesson. Goodbye. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.